What's going on everybody? I'm Jimbo from Xiaobam bringing you another Procreate tutorial. Yeah, I know, it's been a while, but I promise you that you will love this one. Today I'll be showing you how to create awesome beveled script lettering. This technique can be applied in any letter style and you will see how easy it is once you see all my steps. For today's tutorial, you will need an iPad that supports Procreate and the Apple Pencil or any other compatible stylus. Once again, at Shoutbam, we have prepared you a freebie of the brushes that I'll be using today. Remember that you can find the link in the description below. So, yeah, nothing else to add, let's get started. Let's create a new document. For these tutorials, I always use the same size, a 22 times 30 centimeters at a 300 dpi. We will start by sketching out a single letter. It can be any style, but if you want to follow along without complications, I would recommend you to go with a contrasted script letter. Remember, the more contrasted, the bigger the difference in between thick and thin strokes. Here, I'm just keeping the sketching and inking parts. If you want to see me sketching in more depth, I recommend you this video on the top right corner. We're going to add some guidelines for the bevel. Grab a darker color and your favorite pencil. Now go to the layers panel and rename your letter first. Now sketch little dots or dash lines that travel through the middle of the letter and then convert them into a line. It's really important to determine the center of your beveled letters before starting adding the effect. Remember that taking all these steps will ease the process afterwards. As you can see, I've also drawn some more guidelines to determine which parts of the letter will go in front and which ones will go underneath. Now, this is probably the most important part of the whole process. Choose a new color and select an inker. Here I'm using our wet inker. Bring the guidelines opacity down and create two or three new layers underneath. Now change the name of the layers. Here I'm using X, Y, and Z. Tap on each of these layers and select Clipping Mask. Now remember that anything you paint in this layer will not go out from the layer underneath, in this case our inked letter. Grab the inker and start creating the letter shapes. Since we have the halves sketched out, we just have to make sure that we follow the line and that we balance out our both parts. I'm here, starting with the light orange and drawing the parts that are not touching each other on the same layer. Now I've selected a lighter color and I'm painting new parts on a new layer. Since now the layer is completely divided, I won't be needing the third layer, so I'll just go ahead and erase it. In this part right here, I've decided that this little piece will go behind, so I'm just grabbing an eraser, any native calligraphy brush, and I'm erasing this part and all the other unnecessary ones. Oh, by the way, you can also now erase the guidelines since we won't be needing them anymore. We will release the clipping masks by keeping the same shapes. Tap on the layer and now tap on clipping mask again. You will see that our shapes are getting messier because they show the imperfections hidden by the clipping masks. Tap on the original letter and tap select. Now go to the bottom panel that just popped up and tap on invert. Now select back one of the layers that was previously a clipping mask Scroll three fingers down and tap on cut. Boom! Now repeat the same in the other layer. Before starting the texture work, we will match the colors so it all looks the same. Decide on one color and drag it in all the layers. Shadow time. The first thing we want to do is creating clipping masks on top of each layer that we now have. Now rename these layers into shadows. Once we've done that, we are going to select a darker color, in my case a darker blue, and we will select a brush that gives us a nice texture. At this point, you would like to check the freebie we've prepared or any other brush you can get for free when becoming a newsletter subscriber. 
Remember that you can find links to all of this in the description below. Anyways, here I'm selecting the stipple sprayer from the lettering collection brush set. Any of these textures will work just fine, but the stipple brush will give us larger dots that will be great to start the shadows. Now go to the clipping masks we've created and start spraying the bottom halves in the exact parts where our sketch line was in the beginning. Follow this exact moon shape that I'm doing by firstly creating a single texture line and then filling up with dots the center of the shape. Now switch from one layer to the other and in the point where it gets thinner we are gonna sort of connect it with other shadows exactly like this. So the shadows will touch with one another as they decrease in opacity and size. Remember that this meeting point is key to better get the effect we are looking for. By the way, the brush Salted Sprayer is a nice complementary brush since we'll give you smaller speckles that will help you with the gradients. Now create more clipping masks and we will use them to create straight shadows that will determine what parts of the letter will go on top and which ones will go underneath. While spraying shadows you will also have to erase parts that you don't want. Select any calligraphy brush as eraser for doing that. For sure you will figure it all out, we are already halfway there. Now that we have the middle shadows painted, it's time to paint the bottom shadows. Create new clipping masks so they don't mix up with the previous ones. In the points where your shadows were stronger before, try to blend in new shadows. Do you remember the moon shapes I was talking about? Well, now we will reverse that. Try to touch the bigger parts of the previous shadows and make them thinner as they separate. Come on, you almost got this. If you don't want to be erasing parts you didn't intend to paint, head to the selection tool and select freehand from the bottom menu. Now circle those parts that we are shadowing. Here I wanted to give you a little tip I use all the time. Throughout the process you can grab your phone and do tiny clips of your steps so you can later make reels and have some extra content on Instagram. You can tag us at Shalbam or Jimbo Bernaus so we can check out your work and share it in our stories. Also, while I paint these shadows, I wanted to ask you something. What is the thing that you struggle the most on Procreate? 
I would love to know so I make sure I cover it in future videos. Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's do some lights and yet again create new clipping masks and change their name to lights. Now we will repeat the same steps but upside down, you will see. Select a light color, white or almost white will do. You remember the meeting points of our shadows? Well, now it's time to basically do the exact same thing but with the lights. You will notice how easy it got now since you already mastered the technique doing the shadows. So here it goes, another little clip for my reels. Now in the same way we did our shadows, we will create more clipping masks for secondary lights. These ones will come from the top parts and will again join like the shadows did before. Allow yourself to be more free in here and spray also a little bit more randomly here and there. Remember that by the end of the day we are here to have some fun. Well, right now you could consider the piece done, but we're gonna add some final extra lights. So create a layer on top of everything and spray some lights on the shadows. Here you can experiment a little bit once again with colors and modes. Try to use lightning modes such as overlay and contrasted colors, in my case a little bit orangey. Spray these lights following a moon shape as before and now grab an eraser from the native calligraphy brush panel and do a clean cut following the shape of the letter and you're ready for the last step. Before moving on, I'm changing the background's color into a slight lighter purple. In this step, I'll do some cast shadow, so I want to make sure it's visible. So duplicate the G and drop a dark color in it. Now duplicate this layer and with the transform tool, move it following the light source. Since my lights are coming from up, this shadow will go down. Now join the corners of this shadow with the corners of the original letter. Go up to the adjustments panel and select motion blur. Now with the pencil on the screen move the shadows towards their direction and you will see a nice shadow that disappears the further it gets from the letter. Now grab a native Procreate Soft airbrush and erase the parts of the shadow that are left on top of the letter. 
Create now a new layer at the bottom of it all and using a native soft airbrush, spray some black color at the bottom left corner and some lighter color on the top right corner. Now create a new layer and set it to multiply. Here I will be adding some nice texture from the set but you can use any brush you have. This one is called Cracked Sponge and it will give you a seamless cracked floor texture that will add realism to the piece. And it's done. Just like that you've just created a nice beveled letter with some wonderful textures. Don't forget to grab your freebie in the description below. Thank you so much for sharing these 15 minutes with me. If you liked it, well, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more lettering and illustration content. Said that, see you next time. Remember that by joining our newsletter community, you will get access to all of our freebies, including free Procreate brushes, textures and fonts, and other fresh stuff we cook up every month. Remember that you'll find the link in the description below. And with that said, letter, letter away! away.